Done. Oh, got it. Thank you. My name is Amber. My daughter's name is Caitlin. She was diagnosed with an airway defect when she was um, one week old. She has basically a floppy airway, a floppy larynx. So. Her voice box covers her airway. She's able to get air in and out through the tracheostomy instead of through her mouth. It was very scary finding out about the trach and knowing all of my responsibilities as her parent and caretaker, knowing that I would have to take a crash course in, in nursing and respiratory therapy just to be able to be left alone with my child. I always talk to parents about how you don't want to do this. When you're putting something on that's a no-no, you always want to be very gentle. My name is Lori Altoro and I am a clinical instructor for respiratory care here at Nemours Children's Hospital. A big part of what I do here is to teach parents and families of um, children that get a trach for the first time to care for that and to go home safely. And then you're gonna go all the way in until your fingers fit gently and then vacuum. In simulation world, we often say safe learning environment. So when we have the mannequin, um, they don't have to worry about messing up. All right, do you wanna try? With Lori, she would say, okay, well, that was great, but next time, put on gloves first. So we would do it over and over again until I got it completely right, so that it was in my brain. How many of you have kids that have serious allergies in the school? I'm Dr. Shiva Kalidindi. I'm the Medical Director for Nemours Institute for Clinical Excellence. You're actually going to just do compressions. The conference that we have for the school nurses today is to uh, provide an opportunity for the school nurses to be able to utilize this high fidelity mannequins and the technology we have and have a hands-on experience with several of these health conditions. These are folks taking care of our kids in the community. These are the thousands of kids that go to the public school systems and are cared by the nurses. Oh, look at that. It's all important because you want to be able to practice on a dummy, on a mannequin, uh, before real life so that you've got the hands on. This is what it's going to sound like. This is what it's going to feel like. This is what it's going to look like. To inject, place black end against outer thigh, then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. These mannequins can blink, they can uh, speak, they can have uh, a noisy breathing, just like it would happen in healthcare conditions. Uh, they can change color, they can have seizures, they can have uh, worsening asthma. These can also change their parameters based on what is done to them. Say if a breathing treatment were to be given to the mannequin, you can see that there is an improvement in the breath sounds or if a certain medicine is given, that's normalizing the heart rate. Put it gently to your finger. Without simulation in, in this care facility, uh, I don't think we would be able to send families home. I don't think I could care for her the way I do without having that training that was offered to us at Nemours because without it, I couldn't do half the things that I do with her now. 